Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. Welcome to our annual gift guide. Uh, this is the time we have some fun and recommend some stocking stuffers and gifts you can give to the folks that you love on your holiday season list. Uh, we did this last year and really enjoyed ourselves. Uh, we recommended the electric bike, the Nest thermostat, one of my favorite all-time gifts, uh, and a home energy audit last year. This year we've come up with five ideas along the lines of renewable energy and energy efficiency. So stick around and find out what we've got for ideas for this year. Welcome to Green Energy Futures, your guide to the green energy revolution that's already underway. Okay, this is Green Energy Futures gift idea number one for 2014. This is a very cool device. This is the Cobra 300 solar charger for electronic devices, phones, iPads, that kind of thing, maybe even cameras. So I'm just gonna open it up here and show you what makes this thing really cool. It's got two high quality uh, solar modules in it. If you lay it down, you can change the angle and maximize the sunshine you're getting to charge the battery in this thing. So it's great for adventurers, it's great for emergencies, and you know what, it's also just great as a backup battery for those phones that seem to lose their charge so quickly every single day. Um, I'm gonna show you what else is amazing about this. This holds enough capacity to to charge my phone almost three times, which is pretty cool. Uh, but the other thing that makes this cool is it's got two USB sockets on here. One that's sort of high capacity and it's a two amp socket that's actually made for charging things like your iPad, uh, which I'm plugging in here right now. But at the same time, you can actually plug in your phone and charge your phone as well. So a uh, pretty cool device all around. This is gift idea number one for this year. This is the Belkin Wemo programmable light switch. Very simple, very elegant solution that is programmable. It's wireless, it works on your home wireless network. It's part of this whole revolution of home, in, home uh, automation devices that are plugins and appliances and all kinds of things. This is a very simple implementation. I love this because it replaces a very awkward little switch that I had with tiny little readouts on it. I could never figure out how to program it. This is so simple, on, off, you can also do it on your phones, so you can turn it on and off, and the program itself you do on the phone, the programming. So it's very simple to do. You can have infinite number of programs. Uh, this is a great gift. These things sell for about $50, uh, and it's a great way to sort of get involved with an energy saving device that's kind of fun around the house as well. Okay, this is what we use our Belkin uh, programmable Wi-Fi enabled switch for, uh, is to control our Christmas lights. So it's pretty simple to use. Uh, they go on pretty easy and they go off pretty easy. The beauty is you program this right on your smartphone and you can change the program anytime you want. Okay, Green Energy Futures gift idea number three this year is LED light bulbs. And we had to come back to LEDs. We did this last year for one simple reason. These things have come down in price 50% in the last year, which makes them incredibly good value uh, as, a, as an energy efficient appliance. So this is the Philips. We have three to show you today. This is the Philips, the new uh, wonky looking bulbs uh, that are selling for $6.66 if you divide the package by three here. That's this fancy little bulb up here you see that's the new Philips light bulb uh, one we discovered this year that I'm very uh, pleased with and I've installed a number of these this is a Sylvania these sell for ten dollars each uh, very high quality light they come in warm colors cool colors a lot of different selection uh, a very amazing light bulb most of these are all dimmable these days so there's no worries about whether they're dimmable they love the cold weather uh, and you know the biggest the biggest thing about these is they last 25,000 hours which makes them tremendous value this is the last one we're recommending this is the Cree uh, 40 watt light bulb, 40 watt equivalent light bulb. These sell for about uh, $10 or so. Uh, and this is also an amazing light bulb. That's this guy right here. So um, LED light bulbs, great stocking stuffer. Hi, we're here in my kitchen with gift idea number four for Green Energy Futures this year. Uh, this is an induction stove. This is a very cool thing. So I'm just gonna fill this water up, this pot up with water because this is one of the parlor tricks everybody does who has an induction stove. I'm gonna put it on here and start the process of boiling it as we're talking about it. So I've just put about a cup of water in this pot. This is a very cool appliance. I only discovered these because I was looking for a new stove a couple of years ago. And I found this uh, in a showroom. I didn't even know what induction was, but I found it because I looked in the drawer underneath and I found an Energide sticker that said 350. It was the only stove in the whole showroom that was, was quite a bit more energy efficient than everything else. So this is about twice as 
efficient as all the other ones I checked out when I bought this. Uh, and without coincidence, we've seen these in just about all of the net zero homes that we've done stories on. Uh, how it works is very simple. It creates a magnetic field, which actually heats the bottom of the pot and not the stove. So it transfers the heat very, very efficiently. And as you can see here, this water is almost boiling already in the time I've, I've, uh, I've presented this. Uh, it boils faster than a microwave. Okay, the one thing you need to watch out for if you buy an induction stove is that your pots have to be magnetic. So that's cast iron or stainless steel. Uh, this pot here, as you can see, is stainless steel. And the way to test it is you take a magnet and if it sticks to it, it'll work on an induction stove. And the other very cool thing about an induction stove is that it's very, very safe. I'm touching the burner right here and nothing, nothing. Like it's hot, but it's not gonna burn my hand. This is gift idea number five on the Green Energy Futures uh, gift guide for 2014. For this one, we went to our audience and we said, what books have you been reading in the area of green, uh, green energy or clean technology? And this book came back, this suggestion came from a couple of folks. This is a book by Tom Rand, someone we've done a story on, on green energy futures. It's called Waking the Frog. And in this, he talks about uh, climate change and about economics and about how some of these technical solutions that he's very supportive of are very important to the whole question of climate change. So we've had Tom Rand on our program. Uh, he's the the head of the Mars Clean Tech Fund. They invest in a lot of the clean technologies that we've actually featured on Green Energy Futures. So you might want to wind back to one of our previous episodes, check out Tom Rand, and check out some of the shows about the technologies that he likes promoting. A couple other books came up, thanks to folks in the audience. One of them was called uh, this changes everything. That's Naomi Klein's new book. Obviously, it's had a big impact. People have been talking about it all year. So that's obviously another book you might want to check out. The other one is Reinventing Fire by one of the godfathers of uh, energy efficiency and renewable energy, Amory Lovins from the Rocky Mountain Institute from the States. Um, Reinventing Fire has been around for a little while, but it's right on topic for this sort of thing and uh, well worth checking out as a read. So we want to thank you for watching our gift episode. That's our final gift idea. Happy holiday season to you and thank you very much for watching Green Energy Futures and we'll see you in the new year. If you like this video, check out our episode on Echo Haven, an amazing near net zero neighborhood that's a model of green suburban development. And if you're still here listening, subscribe to our videos. We produce a new green energy future story every two weeks.